Classroom for AFPC. Today, we're going to be looking at Learning Unit 1, Understanding Classroom Assessment in the 21st Century, and looking at the philosophical viewpoints and the purpose of assessment. We are using our assessment in the Foundation Phase textbook, and we are in Chapter 1. So what is a philosophical viewpoint? So let's break it up into the different words. So we're going to start off with the word philosophy. So philosophy means the love of wisdom. And then what is a viewpoint? This is a person's opinion or point of view. So a philosophical viewpoint, we're looking at a theorist who has done research and is now offering their philosophical viewpoint. So there are three philosophical viewpoints regarding assessment. We're going to be looking at Bloom's theory of mastery learning, structuralism, and the critique theory. So let's start with Bloom's. So the main elements of this Bloom's is that the goal is that all learners are successful in teaching and learning. And learning is a learner-centered process where content is broken into smaller units and assessment is then integrated into that. It's very important that each, year, each unit is mastered before moving on. And here is a nice visual about how this learning process happens. So you have your objective and you actually start off with a formative assessment. So remember, formative assessment is an assessment for learning. Then there'd be any corrections or for children that have done it correctly, an enrichment. Then they would do another formative assessment. And once everybody has mastered this objective one, then you move on to objective two. And so the process continues. The next theory is structuralism. And structuralism is all about humans needing structure in life and it looks at the dynamics of change and this theory promotes self-discovery learning and it focuses on the process and the structure and the process means that learning is used using effective self-motivation so children achieve milestones and they are self-motivated to learn then it also talks about a structure where the content is emphasized and it's not just about learning things off by heart but actually understanding the structure of that new knowledge and content and then lastly we've got the critique theory and this is driven by the goal to contribute to change in people's understandings of themselves. And it sees humans as free beings. So there's a greater use of logic in this theory. And it's self-reflection and questioning learning strategies, which obviously reflects in assessment strategies where it's going to be self-assessment. And it emphasizes fairness and equality. And the critique theory also mentions that traditional teaching methods do not teach children. Okay, our society has changed, which means we need to change our assessment methods. 